Good morning, folks. The story with Ison just got a lot more interesting. We now might understand her lack of brightness a bit more. The experts are now claiming that the comet is rotating with one pole away from the sun. Where's my electric universe crew? This means a large portion of the surface volatiles have never been touched by solar wind. And also that a potential building for its trip around the sun is now nothing like the disappointment we've carried since she refused to brighten. Major topic for fly on the wall today. Also, want to give another nod to the exoplanet researchers. These guys are pumping out info faster than I can read it. Here we're discussing atmospheric composition of hot Neptunes. Remember they have icy cores and thick atmospheres but are much, much closer to their parent star than Neptune is in our neighborhood. The focus is on atmospheric metallics but they also describe finding the more life-friendly compounds as well. We don't see the 300 kilometer wind gusts anymore here but the weekend Indian nightmare is still just that with hundreds of thousands in danger's path. Another storm crossed the Philippines heading due west while the bigger West Pacific low is going north to Japan. Development off Mexico needs some help as he's drifting northwest. Meanwhile, we see strength in the Atlantic but still a very long way to go. Southwest Pacific seeing minor precipitation south and to New Zealand with that Australian high pressure dome. Meanwhile, Got snow spread between thunderstorms from the Alps up to Norway, with some nice temps still in the south and to the east. Gotta love the preposterous temperature delta over the U.S. It's the ultimate sign of energetic climate extremes and not CO2 driven warming. The high pressure cells always spun clockwise and the low pressures always spun counterclockwise, but they didn't used to converge tropical heat and moisture with polar cold. The increase in energy takes the pressure stronger and the weather will continue to swing further and faster back and forth. Both the neutrons on the left and the muons on the right show rising cosmic ray density at planet Earth. We also see a sharp uptick in solar flaring. This is due largely to the uptick in active regions and magnetic mixing with the Earth-facing umbral groups, starting bottom left with 11865. This appears to have two delta connections where the magnetics meet within that penumbra. But boy, I didn't see this coming. I counted four delta spots in 11861 last night, and now I'm straining to call any at all in the middle. Huge umbral power on the sides and still worth a watch. M. Flare Maker from yesterday is cresting the limb now. Let's jump quickly to a bit from last night's news. This morning, the departing opening up north was the king, with virtually no power facing Earth. But now, the north has weakened, and we now have intermediate power facing Earth. And in addition to that shift, we see that previously deflated coronal and umbral field trying to puff back up in our direction. Let's see if it follows through, and if so, see if the quakes come roaring back. Well, this is what it looked like last night with that power building down south, but still weak, dark blue on that central earth-facing group. When we come to this morning, we see light blues building in the earth-facing group with maintained yellow down south. For your reference, that's the central opening building strength there in the middle and the southern earth facing group hiding behind the brightness of 11865. Also that umbral to coronal magnetic field is bulging back out as the strength builds. Within moments of last night's news, New Zealand took a 6.3 at the Kermadec Islands. The Caribbean and Venezuela area took an extremely rare quake for that region. Also had the largest California quake in months, actually registered 5 pointer on many readers. There's also a localized uptick in north central Mexico. So we got the quakes, we got the flaring. I'm not sure which watch is worse, but wait, why worry when you know where we watch these things and how to diagnose the danger yourself? Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.